southward the rest of the day. So rain will mix with and then change the snow from north to south the rest of the day today. Where the ground gets cold enough, keep in mind the temperature is going to stay above freezing for quite a while. In fact, through the evening rush hour, I think. So accumulations of a trace to an inch where the ground gets cold enough. But we get a few bursts of some heavier snow showers in the same area. We may get a few spots to get two to three inches of accumulation, especially towards the east of Richmond. But that's where the ground gets cold enough where we get those bursts of snow. There is a winter weather advisory in effect into this evening for the I-95 corridor and points east. It also includes Chesterfield County and over towards Amelia, not away down in Lunenburg and Mecklenburg. So here's the rain mixing with and changing to snow, working from north to south. And you notice the temperatures take a dive this afternoon, but most areas still staying above freezing through about five o'clock or so. We'll have some snow showers around this evening as temperatures fall to and below freezing, so there will be some slick areas this evening and tonight. That system moves out of here tomorrow morning. We're in the teens and 20s, so anything that sticks and is not treated, even if we're just talking about some rain, some puddles left over, it will be icy untreated surfaces tomorrow morning. And the winds are going to pick up a little bit. Wind chills this afternoon in the 20s. For tomorrow morning, we'll have wind, uh, wind chills in the single digits and lower 10s. And during the day tomorrow, high temperatures won't get out of the 20s in main locations, and the wind chills will stay in the teens. So here comes system number two. It's going to go way to our southeast. So we'll be close enough to give us at least a chance of some snow. The best chance of that is going to be south and east of Richmond, but some of the computer models are bringing that back edge of the snow up through the metro at least for a few hours tomorrow night into early Saturday before the system pulls on out of here. Now the computer models for Richmond, a lot of them are saying we're going to get nothing from this system. The snowiest one as of right now is about two and a half inches or so, but the model average is only about a half an inch. It's a different story farther south and east. Again, this system may track a little bit farther north or south. So that means the difference between getting a few flakes or a few inches. But it looks like uh, the Hampton Roads area is the best chance of seeing about three, four inches of snow. If the storm track is exact in the right place, they could get over seven or eight inches of snow. And lesser amounts the farther north and west you go. With a farther southern track, we may be closer to the trace in the metro. So we'll talk more about that tonight and tomorrow. There is a winter storm watch in effect for tomorrow into Saturday morning for far southeastern Virginia. But for today, we've hit our high of 45. Temperatures will fall through the 30s. And tomorrow, not even cracking 30 across the area. 34 on Saturday with a few snow showers in the morning, depending on that track of the system. Then we're back into the 40s next week and the next system bring us rain on Tuesday.